This video was made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Fugaku Uchiha from Naruto Fugaku Uchiha was a shinobi of Konohagakure. He was the head of the Uchiha clan as well as the leader of the Konoha military police force. Welcome to the Imagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Fugaku Uchiha. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background during the Third Shinobi World War, shinobi from other nations trembled at the mention of Fugaku's nickname of Wicked Eye Fugaku. In the final weeks of the war, Fugaku took his four-year-old son Itachi to the battlefield to see a mountain of corpses, with the purpose of showing Itachi the reality of the world he lived in as a shinobi. In the anime, during the war, a dear friend of Fugaku died in battle, allowing him to awaken the Mangekyo Sharingan, a fact he decided to keep hidden from everyone. In the aftermath of the war, while villagers mourned its dead at the Konoha Cemetery, a clansman informed Fugaku that there were voices to install him as the fourth Hokage, as the third Hokage intended to retire. Fugaku then questioned the man on what they should do with Kakashi Harake possessing their clan's dojutsu. Understanding that Obito Uchiha fought bravely, he decided to respect the boy's wishes and let Kakashi keep his gift. When Fugaku's wife Mikoto gave birth to their second son, with Hiruzen's blessing, Fugaku proudly named the baby Sasuke after the third Hokage's father. With the nine-tailed demon fox's attack, the village accused the Uchiha clan of orchestrating the attack, as they did not take action against the tailed beast. In the anime, this was because of orders from Danzo Shimura to focus all the Uchiha's efforts solely on protecting the villagers. This, combined with the Uchiha being relocated further away from the village, caused a rift between the village and the Uchiha clan. Despite this, the villagers still admired Fugaku and the Uchiha clan's efforts of maintaining peace. This did not stop Fugaku from conspiring a coup d'etat that would allow the Uchiha clan to take control of the village out of spite. Eventually, Fugaku placed Itachi as a spy in the Anbu to pass on information back to the clan. However, Itachi secretly betrayed the Uchiha and became a double agent leaking information right back to the village. Recognizing Itachi's prodigious mind and talent, Fugaku began training him regularly, amazed when he mastered the fire-released Great Fireball technique on his first try after witnessing it only once. Seeing such potential in Itachi and being his eldest son, hence the successor of the clan, Fugaku focused most of his attention on him, even defending Itachi when he was suspected of killing Shisui Uchiha. However, the two had a falling out when Itachi lost hope in the clan, leading to Fugaku to shift his attention to Sasuke, even teaching him how to use the traditional fire release techniques of their clan, and was impressed at how Sasuke was able to master the technique after just one week. Sasuke was finally able to enjoy his father's company, but Fugaku advised him not to follow in Itachi's footsteps. After another clan meeting about the coup d'etat, Fugaku called Itachi to speak with him privately. He revealed that the stone tablet within the Naka Shrine held secrets to a better world for all, but required an evolved Sharingan to read it at all, revealing the truth about his acquisition of the Mangekyo Sharingan. Knowing of his son's hesitance for bloodshed and reluctance to attack the village, he expressed his desire for this revolution to end without any deaths, insisting that with Itachi's help they could achieve that. Further proving his point, he revealed that he never told anyone in the clan of his Mangekyo Sharingan in fear that they would ask him to use its power to take control of the Nine Tails to use to attack Konoha. During the Uchiha clan downfall, Fugaku quickly realized Itachi was behind this attack and confronted him via a clone, expressing their respective views. Itachi then confronted his parents, but Fugaku and Mikoto did not resist and told Itachi that they were still proud of him and to promise to take care of Sasuke before they let Itachi kill them. Fugaku was later found laying dead on top of his wife's corpse. Personality As leader of the Uchiha, Fugaku was focused on the clan's interests and welfare and had a strong sense of responsibility. His son, Sasuke, saw him as a stern and uncaring man, while he was seen as a father figure to the rest of the clan. As Itachi was his successor as the head of the clan, Fugaku spent much of his time focusing on the development of his eldest and little time with his youngest. Sasuke trained constantly in order to get his father's attention and approval. Near the end of his life, Fugaku had switched his attention to Sasuke, having lost hope in the wayward Itachi. He was only impressed by great feats and rarely praised anyone, having high expectations. Fugaku was very serious, hardly smiling most of the time. 
to which he showed notable distaste towards Itachi when he would shirk his duties like attending meetings and missions. While outwardly Fugaku seemed strict and neglectful towards his eldest and youngest sons respectively, coupled with his devotion and focus to his clan's welfare led him to seem hateful and non-negotiable, he was still a very caring individual to his sons. According to Mikoto, when she and Fugaku were alone, Fugaku would mostly, if not only, talk about Sasuke. While always trying to motivate Sasuke to improve, he failed to see Sasuke's desire to be acknowledged as his son rather than compared to Itachi. He loved both his sons so dearly that when he saw Itachi slaughter their clan, he gave Itachi a chance for an explanation. After realizing he was doing this to safeguard Sasuke's life rather than resisting death as he did not want to hurt his eldest son, he and his wife willingly allowed Itachi to execute them in exchange for securing Sasuke's future, and merely asking Itachi to take care of his youngest child. Fugaku also demonstrated great remorse for the turn Itachi's life had taken, blaming himself for the pain Itachi had to endure after reflecting that Itachi could have been the first Uchiha Hokage. Sadly admitting his burdening Itachi with the Uchiha clan's mission had stolen his son's future from him. In the anime, Fugaku inherited much of the will of fire. He genuinely wanted to preserve peace in Konoha, going along with the relocation despite the Uchiha clan's protests not to let the situation in Konoha worsen. He even went as far as to instruct his fellow clan members to leave Kakashi alone, who had been recently implanted with a Sharingan from Obito, wishing to honor Obito's dying decision. He asked Hiruzen to name his second son after Hiruzen's father. He was also much more wise than his clan, willing to cooperate with the relocation if the village would quell their suspicions over time, but eventually lost his patience. Even after agreeing with his plan's desire for revolution, he expressed his dismay at going about it in a way that involved the bloodshed of civilians, hoping to end it quickly and with as little harm as possible. He even chose to keep his Mangekyo Sharingan a secret from his clan in fear that it would drive them to seek greater power through immoral means. Abilities As an Uchiha, Fugaku had very strong chakra. Even more, he was considered to be a rare genius, whose nickname of Wicked Eye Fugaku made shinobi of other nations tremble. His talents were considered comparable to Minato Namikaze and the Sanin, even viewed as a prime candidate to become fourth Hokage. His abilities were so advanced that even his elder son Itachi, a prominent member of their clan at the time, hoped to avoid fighting such an opponent. Fugaku stood out as one of the shrewdest security captains throughout the generations. He was also shown to be highly observant, able to quickly determine when he was being spied on from afar. Abilities, Ninjutsu Fugaku was supposedly quite skilled with shuriken, as Sasuke noted that Itachi was very skilled with shuriken, even more so than their own father. As an Uchiha, he had a natural affinity for fire release, showing a great mastery of the clan's signature great fireball technique, being one of only two Uchiha to be able to create it to a massive size. In the anime, he could also use the shadow clone technique. Abilities, Sharingan like most members of his clan, Fugaku possessed the Sharingan. The Dojutsu granted him the ability to see chakra, predict movements, and place victims under Genjutsu with a single glance. With it, he can invoke powerful and elaborate Genjutsu. Abilities Mangekyo Sharingan Fugaku also had some knowledge about the Mangekyo Sharingan, after telling Sasuke that it needs a great sacrifice to awaken. In the anime, Fugaku awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan during the Third Great Shinobi War after his friend sacrificed himself to save him. Taking the form of three dots followed by three curves spiraling counterclockwise around the pupil, Fugaku was confident that it was capable of controlling the Ninetales. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.